video, we are going to learn how to use Spring Data JPA in a simple example. Go to File, let's create a project. Go to File, New, Spring, Start a project. I am going to use Maven. My version is 17. Here, yeah, let's write the project name. I am going to use My JPA project. Okay, now I am not going to change anything. Let's click next. Here we are going to add dependencies. My SQL driver, Spring Data JPA and Spring Web. You can select them from available as well. Version is 3.1.4. Next, let's finish. Okay, as you can see, the files are being downloaded. It will take a little time. Uh, as you can see, we got a boot project. Uh, in this example, we are just going to create a simple method which is going to create or insert data into a table. Here, I am going to use a package uh, which is Jakarta Persistent API, not the Java X Persistent, Persistent API packages. Okay, let's wait. Now, let's go and open the creative boot project. Here you can see the project structure. This is my form file. This is my main. Here, all the files, Java files will be there. Let's go to resources and open the application.properties file. Here, your databases connection URL properties will be there. Let's start spring dot data source dot driver class name. Is equals to com dot mysql cj jdbc driver. This is my driver name. Second, the URL spring dot data source data source dot url is equals to it's a property file so we don't have to use double quotes my url will be jdbc colon mysql colon localhost colon 3306 this is a port number and my schema name I am going to use the word schema which is already given in MySQL. If you don't know how to use MySQL, just go and look on to our previous videos. The second is spring data source dot username. Username is same, root. And the last is password. Spring dot data source dot password is equals to my password is also root. Let me just finish. Save the file. This is my property file. Now, let's proceed and create the entity class. New class. Let's change the package name. com.rena.entity. And my class name student. Let's give the instance variable. I'm going to use the student ID and name. Now let's generate getters and setters. From source you can do that. I'm just using the shortcut keys. Select all, generate, and the two string. Let's save the class. And now, let's write the notations. The first notation is at the rate entity. This will tell Java the table, which table I have to use is from Jakarta persistent dot entity 
एट द रेट आई डी सेम पैकेज जकार्ता लेट्स सेव इट दिस इज अव पैकेज जकार्ता नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट द रिपोजिटरी इंटरफेस राइट क्लिक इंटरफेस पैकेज इज रिपोजिटरी स्टूडेंट रिपो सिटरी नाउ गोइंग टू एड जावा रिपोजिटरी जेपीए रिपोजिटरी सॉरी विच विल हैव ऑल द इनबिल्ड मेथड्स यू कैन सर्च फ्रॉम योर एज वेल जेपीए रिपोजिटरी ओके फिनिश नाउ टी स्टैंड फॉर द जेनरिक टाइप डेटा टाइप दैट इज स्टूडेंट एंड आई डी इन टीचर एज आई यूज इन फॉर माई एस आई डी लेट मी जस्ट इम्पोर्ट सेव दिस फाइल दिस इज माई एंटिटी नाउ एम गोइंग टू यूज द टेस्ट क्लास गो टू योर सोर्स डॉट टेस्ट देर इज अ मेथड दिस इज a test class let me just create an instance variable of my student repository interface a student repo and mark it with at the rate auto wired notation from spring now let's create as student object and insert the data okay so first thing this is my student object student s1 is equals to new student okay i have imported s1 dot set id i'm going to give the id and s1 dot set name then i'm going to give ankita and then save this file and the last step as you can see in my world schema there is no student table here now let's call the method s1 sorry repo is my repository's repo is not s1 save i'm going to use s1 as an object save is a method which will cre uh, create a table as well as insert the data the table will be created by spring data jp and save method is used for inserting the value let's run my application and see here you can see my application has started tomcat and then student table is created now let's just see how my test application works run as j unit if it turn green so all is perfect so it's my application is running okay it's green let's go and check if the table has the data yes my data is inserted so table is created as well as the data is inserted when we run the application thank you